<laughs> and it's like, what am I, pregnant again? What? I wasn't watching any Hallmark commercials, damn it. <laughs> I wasn't watching any babies be born. That was the worst one for me. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. So, yeah. I mean, they've got a wide range of people on this show. So they've got a woman who actually does the um, the psychic thing for the police and stuff like that. She does it regularly. Then they had Maria, who's actually a crystal healer. And then they've got their bunch of psychic mediums and mediums and psychics and variations thereof. So it'd be See, the only see problem that I have with this show is it's kind of like trying to say one psychic is better than the other. Well, no. I think what they're trying to do is to say, okay, can you switch your gift on and off and can you make it work for you in a stressful situation? But, I mean, you know, each psychic is going to thrive in different fields. And it's it's kind of wrong to try and say one person is better than the other just because this person can do this and this person can do that. That's right. But, you know, it's it's like reality TV. I mean, it's not exactly, but, you know, it's about as close as you can get with psychics. So, yeah, it's a good show, though. Oh, I, I have no doubt in that. I mean, unfortunately, I don't think anything like that, I say that and it's going to happen. I don't think anything like that is going to happen in the uh, U.S. because people are still kind of iffy about it. Well, I don't know. I mean, you've got Ghost Whisperer and you've got Medium and then I think now you've got Psych, whatever the hell that is. Oh, that's a guy who um he ha- he has a photographic memory and he can remember every little he can remember little details and he was trained to notice little things but in order to keep himself from being arrested because he noticed something that all the cops had missed but it was a detail that only the uh murderer or the thief or whatever would know so they were going to arrest him so he told him that he was psychic ah Okay, because there's another program on another channel here that's pretty much exactly the same thing, except it's a woman. See, and the difference is, <clears throat> it's okay if you can um, look at it in a fictitious way. You know, we, you know, vampires and werewolves and psychics and ghosts and all that. Oh, it's fine as fiction, but when you start trying to cross it over into reality, it's like, mm, okay. Yeah, people kind of go, mm, yeah, crazy. They either go crazy or they get freaked out or people start trying to um, tear it apart. Like, uh, that's actually the big problem with, um, like, Ghost Hunters, Ghost Hunters International, all this. People watch it just to try and debunk everything they do. Yeah, although I have heard reports from the other shows on this network, actually, that they do some things just a little bit off or not quite as well as they could be doing it. And you got to remember, they have to edit it for the TV show, so they might be spending like two days at this place. And they've got to edit it down to like an hour. <laughs> True, and I mean, it's like I keep trying to tell people. Just because they show up at a spot and they don't get activity on that particular day does not necessarily mean it's not haunted. It just means that they didn't get anything at that particular time on that particular day. Exactly. I mean, if you were to show up on a random Tuesday out of the month, you might get something. You show up on a random Saturday, nothing. I mean, <clears throat> they they show up when they want to. And it, it's up to you, the person doing the ghost hunting, to get the evidence and then look at it in a, I don't want to say skeptical, but you don't want to take every little bump and noise as, you know, oh my god, I caught a ghost. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, things happen. Air conditioner, we have, you know, with all the technology and stuff, you're dealing with a whole bunch of electricity in the air. You're dealing with air conditioners. You're dealing with, you know, all sorts of things. And this affects the environment around it. So don't take every little thing as, you know, I caught a ghost, but don't be so skeptic that you overlook things. Yeah. I mean, be prepared to believe, but don't be overly prepared to believe. 
exactly. You want to you want a healthy balance between the two. Um, like, for example, <clears throat> now coming from someone who <clears throat> is sensitive, but um, I can't see things. I can feel things. Um, I went to a graveyard, and I'm a little skeptical about the um, orb pictures because that could be dust, it could be a bug, it could be you know, all this. So whenever I get orb pictures in graveyards, I'm always really skeptic, or skeptical, excuse me. Well, I went to a graveyard one night, and I took, <clears throat> I don't even remember how many pictures it was. There was, uh, I think it was like 10 pictures taken 10 to 30 seconds apart. And there was an orb <clears throat> in front of me, and I turned the camera, like I, I went through and looked at the pictures and at one point I turn the camera and it's gone I turn the camera back to where I was shooting and the orb comes back for like 10 consecutive shots mm. so something was standing in front of me there was no light there was no dust you know there is just no way there wasn't anything on the lens otherwise it would have shown up when I turned when I changed the camera angle <laughs> so obviously you know you you have to Whenever you do things like this, set up a mental checklist. Okay, is it dust? Is it a bug? Is there light? Is there something reflecting? Is there... You know, run through all the checklists, and if you can't find any explanation for it, then maybe. accept it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Anything is possible. Anything is possible, and guess what? We're at the top of the hour. Woohoo! So, lots of candy and scary crap to everybody, and we'll see you all next week. Yay, which next week I should be in Illinois. <gasps> really? Yes. Next week I uh, I should be listening to this broadcast in a uh, probably a hotel room in the middle of Salem, Illinois. Cool. Huh. Alrighty, so bye everyone. Bye! And this has been the Friday Catch-Up, powered by the ParaQuest Radio Network. Remember to catch the Hostess with No Ghostess every Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the ParaQuest Radio Network. Día de los muertos se cabrón se arrugó